Welcome to the Using Run Charts module of Measurement for Quality Improvement. This series of short videos has been created to support QI learning on measurement and to build capability among family medicine residents, faculty and interprofessional team members of the Department of Family and Community Medicine at the University of Toronto, members of its Quality Program Committee, Community of Practice members, and the Quality Improvement Decision Support Specialists. At the end of this module, you will be able to define the term run chart and why it is relevant to QI, utilize run chart rules to track improvement data, and design a run chart that is clear and concise. The saying, a picture is worth a thousand words, is very applicable in QI work when using run charts. A run chart is a graphical display of data plotted in chronological order. Since our systems of care are constantly evolving, the use of a run chart with data plotted over time provides us with the most realistic view of what is happening. Whether we are looking at access to care or preventive care such as breast cancer screening rates or data related to chronic disease management, the display of this data on a run chart informs us about the behavior of the system over time. A run chart is useful because it is easy to construct, simple to interpret, and much can be learned about the performance of a process without using complex statistical analysis. Run charts help detect signals of change in performance that are not due to random events, but rather due to the tests of change undertaken in QI work. Run charts are a powerful communication tool and help us tell important stories about a team's QI journey. A run chart can become a rallying point to generate support for change among staff when performance is lower than expected. A run chart can also clearly and succinctly tell a story of improvement, which can be very motivating and encouraging for teams. Run charts can also help leadership demonstrate how investing in QI has resulted in improved performance. The Healthcare Data Guide identifies seven steps to creating a run chart. An appendix to this module is provided that details these seven steps to help you create your own run charts. A run chart should be produced when data for the very first point is available. The practice of plotting data early facilitates learning from the data as soon as possible and sets an expectation that data will be plotted, reviewed, and analyzed on a continuous basis. Early plotting of the data also allows for annotations to be captured in real time. For example, when we have started a test of change in our system, notes about this should be included on the run chart to explain any variation in the measure being plotted. In addition to following the seven steps to building a run chart, good design principles for data display should be followed to maximize the chart's visual communication. Edward Tufte, a statistician and artist, is an expert on visual presentation of information. Tufte says the purpose of producing visual graphics, like a run chart, is to provide insight into what happened. Therefore, charts should be simple, enabling people to learn quickly. Any extra detailed formatting, such as 3D presentations, grid lines, borders, and text that are not directly related to the data should not be included in the chart as it may reduce the ease of interpreting the data. Careful consideration of these design principles will facilitate translating the data into information, then knowledge, and ultimately wisdom. Once a run chart has been built, analysis and interpretation can begin, and conclusions can be drawn about the changes that have been tested. As it can be difficult to decide whether the data points illustrate improvement, the use of probability-based rules can identify signals or non-random evidence of change. There are four rules that can be used with run charts. Rule 1, a shift. Rule 2, a trend. Rule 3, too many or too few runs. And Rule 4, an astronomical point. To apply Rule 1 and Rule 3, the creation of a median is required. While a baseline median can be created from any number of data points, when the rules are applied to assess whether a signal has occurred, the median should be created using 10 or more data points. 
When this is not possible, the shift and run rules will not be applicable. Rule 1, a shift, is evident when the run chart shows six or more consecutive points all above or all below the median. When interpreting the chart, data points that fall on the median do not add to or break up a shift. Just skip those values that fall on the median and continue counting. Rule 2, the trend, is evident when the run chart shows five or more consecutive points all going up or all going down. If the value of two consecutive points is the same, ignore one of the points and continue counting, as points that are the same cannot break or make a trend. Rule 3 is the rule of too many or too few runs. A run is a series of points that are in a row on one side of the median. Any point that lies right on the median is ignored when counting a run. A special table is required to assess whether there are too few or too many runs. If the number of runs is more or less than the limits provided in the table, then a signal is evident. Rule 4 is the astronomical point rule. An astronomical point is one that is obviously different, and anyone studying the chart would agree that it is highly unusual. It can be either high or low, but it needs to be much higher or much lower than the rest of the points in the chart. When working with run charts, as long as enough data is available, all four rules should be applied to each chart. However, if just one of the rules applies to the data in the chart, it is said that a signal has occurred. The signal is evidence of a non-random change, but it does not necessarily mean that an improvement has occurred. Once a signal is identified, it provides evidence of improvement if it is in the desired direction, sometimes referred to as the direction of goodness. The direction of goodness will depend on the measure that has been charted and whether an increase or a decrease is considered an improvement. For example, the direction of goodness for cancer screening rates would obviously be up, but the direction of goodness for reported adverse medication reactions would be down. This concludes the Using Run Charts module. As a result of watching this module, you should be able to define the term run chart and why it is relevant to QI, utilize run chart rules to track improvement data, and design a run chart that is clear and concise.